Hello world, I'm Golkarp and welcome to Cultist Simulator No Cult Challenge. So we're gonna try to defeat Cultist Simulator without ever actually starting a cult. Now, if you are new to Cultist Simulator, I would suggest you watch one of my other ones first, because, you know, we're gonna be missing a lot of what the actual game gameplay is here. So there's gonna be uh, links in the description below. Uh, we're gonna purge save so that we can actually start from the very beginning and then we're just gonna begin the game And we're never gonna start a cult. That's the challenge here. Uh, I have a plan That is next to me. Uh, I had it's made by my own notes So I'm not sure if it will work, but hopefully So we're first of all we are the aspirant. Let's be Uncle Carp here. Oh, Carp, not Carp. Alone in this chilly city, with my useless education and my dreams, what now? Could I become something more? So we'll take our menial employment, put it here. Another shift in the hospital. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering posts to hollow-eyed invalids, trundling corpse letting gurneys to the basement. Halfway through your shift, the head porter beckons you aside. We won't require your services any longer, he says. Here, your last payment. We paid you through the end of the month. I have lost my job. At least now I have a little time to rest and my health improves. So we get a little bit of money, a little bit of health, and the first thing we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna try to get our health increased. That's gonna be the most important part, well not the most important part, but in the beginning, I like to increase my skills in the beginning, because that's, uh, <laughs> that's the good part. You, there's no panic, there's no hurry to do other things, so increasing skills in the beginning is what's a good idea. Oh, uh, yeah, we're doing unskilled labor here, so backbreaking work for Mika Bay. Is this the best I can do? Pretty much, because that's what our most of our job is going to be throughout the entire game. So, we are recalling my dreams. It began when I spoke to the old man in the hospital. He knew my name, but he's dead now. The pneumonia. Why do I dream of him still? What is the cobalt light in my dreams? Time is now passing. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I was thinking, because it's been a while since I played the normal version of... Uh, Cold Simulator. I played the Exile DLC a bit more lately, uh, so I was thinking there was a way to kind of cheat the game and get uh, at least the health skill up before time actually starts passing. But maybe that was a bug in some version of the game that I'm thinking about. So we get some content when we get our passion. That's fine. We're not going to be really needing those for anything. We could dream with passion at this point, but that's not really something we want to do. We also got our uh, research. Is this verb? I believe. A change in the air. I need funds to live, but perhaps this recent upset in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? There is a change in the air. Okay, we finished our unskilled labor here. The day is done, and so am I, but I've earned my pay. Oh, we get a little bit of funds here. Now, of course, working with just health is not very efficient, like you can see. Our health is fatigued now for a minute. This thing is gonna take a fund every minute, so if we were to do just that, we would be uh, out of money quite quickly. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna try to increase our, at least our health skill immediately, so that we can, uh, well, as soon as we get another vitality, we can get another health, and then we can work every minute. Sure, there are other ways to work, uh, but uh, I think that's what we're gonna start with for sh now. A big quest arrives. A letter from a solicitor. The old man at the hospital. The one I dream of has named me in his will. I hear more soon. Okay. Another minute passed and, and our health is back here. So we're gonna work again doing just more unskilled labor. That's gonna give us another vitality which we can then use the research verb and uh, actually turn them into another health. The old man has bequeathed me a sum of money and a packet of peculiar papers, poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in a month, here is some re fuel for my reason. So studies, unlike we get a little bit of money, we get our reason and we get the bequest. Now because uh, we're only gonna need this verb after a minute, we can actually check the bequest right now. Unlock books and other treasures. And uh, we're gonna use reason here. Examining the bequest, employing reason. I'll examine each item with meticulous care. Now, I'm not sure what actually this does, like doing it with reason, or I think we can put passion in there as well, or we could put our health in there, I'm pretty... No, actually, we can't. Huh, I thought we could. Well, uh, let's just do it with reason, then. Uh, this might uh, make the beginning 
temptation we have to be different depending on which we use, I do not remember. This is one of those things that I've never actually put up in my notes because this happens quite early in the game and I see no big reason to ever like even put this up in my notes. Maybe I'll do it now. My correspondent describes my dreams exactly. They use names that are instantly familiar. The house, the wood, the hours, the glory. They knew secrets beneath time and the skin of the world. A new curiosity burns in me. There is a note here. Directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. So we get our reason back, we get direction to Morelands, we get temptation enlightenment, and we get notes on a possible collaborator, and we get a watchman's secret. Okay, so yeah, that's probably because we used reason. I think if we used passion, uh, we might have gotten something uh, different here. So, uh, let's study the directions to... No, 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 no. Let's... Uh... So this vitality is still going to be here for 90 seconds. So we're gonna get another vitality from here. So this is where the timing things actually start coming into play already. But I think it's only gonna take us uh, 60 seconds to do the directions to Morlands. The directions to Morlands shop are cryptic. When one deals in the kind of books my correspondent studied, one must be circumspect. So we're gonna do that. Also, we're gonna dream on this uh, enlightenment. Should I dedicate myself to my purpose or focus my efforts elsewhere? We should focus our efforts elsewhere, but I think... Hmm, I d oh man, it's been such a while so I don't actually remember how this goes, because we can change our temptation and we need to change it to power, because power is the only temptation we can actually do without having a cult. All the other ones require us to have prisoners, uh, temptation only requires us to have, m no, power, power, no, temptation power only requires us to have money. Uh, all the other uh, temptations require us to have prisoners, we're not going to be able to have prisoners in this run, because for prisoners we need a cult. And we don't, we're not going to have a cult, so we can't take prisoners. Uh, I have a feeling that to get it to be power, we actually have to use health there. But I'm just, I'm just going to check it. I'm just going to check it. It shouldn't be that difficult. So I'm going to dream on that. I'm going to put passion in there. My goal is power now. Okay, perhaps power is the more compelling goal. Yes, yes, it is. It is. Okay, so that went exactly as it should. And oh, this only takes 30 seconds. So this is also pretty perfect. Okay, we've finished our work, uh, we get ourselves another vitality, uh, if we just wait for a half a second more. We're also gonna have Moreland Shop here. An ill-lit street at an ill-favored bend in a lesser river. A soft yellow light through a grimy window. Miss Moreland nods as I enter, but doesn't rise. I never ask the names of my clients, she informs me before I have time to introduce myself. So let's collect that. Uh, also, yeah, explore is now unlocked. Now that I've found a location, I can explore it and we get an occult scrap from that as well. That's very nice. Okay, so we get our two vitalities and this is the most important part to start with. We are gonna get ourselves another health so we can keep on working. At this point, I mean, uh, we could use reason to get clerical work. We're not gonna do that. Like that's basically quite easy way to make some money, but we don't want that uh, now, because uh, there's gonna be problems if we take that job, and to deal with those problems, normally we'd use our cultists, but we're not gonna have any cultists, so we're gonna have to use summons, and it's gonna take a while before we can even get summons. I refocused my intentions. My predecessors willed the power of remaking, a power that impresses generals, physicists could only dream of. So shall I, though the power might sear me. Though the power might serve. So now we have temptation power. This is good. This is what we wanted. Now, I don't know. If we had used passion to study it, maybe we would have started with temptation power and we would have started with some forge lore because forge lore is important. Forge lore is the thing that we need the most here. Uh, now, we could go to Morlands to get some books, but I'm kind of worried about our money situation for now. Uh, but then again, like we're gonna have a second health, we can then use that, uh, also we can paint right now. So let's paint now, we have nothing to really paint, but we're just, we're gonna get like maybe a dollar from that, or one funds from that. So yeah, let's just go to Morelands and buy ourselves a book, because we're gonna be buying out Morelands. Like that's one of the first things we're gonna be doing here, is we're gonna buy everything from Morelands, because we basically need all of that stuff from there. Because uh, once again, we're not gonna have any calls, so and we're gonna have a lot of problems going through certain things in this game. Ooh, fleeting reminiscence. No, we can't paint that. Okay, so now we are stronger. So we have a stronger physique and we have another health, which is super good for us right now. Okay, what did we get from Morlands this time? Kuna und Geth. Okay, so that is a German grammar. No, that's the Greek grammar, right? It's written in German. We actually, apparently we speak German 
without any problem. So, let's just uh, learn German. Oh, no, let's learn Greek. We already speak German. Of course, I have a little Greek already, but I'll need more than a little. So, we'll do that. Mm, yeah. Usually, I, I, I feel safe to go to Morelands while I have more than five funds. So, let's just keep going to Morelands, getting some of these books. We're going to be needing them because... Uh, we're going to be needing a lot of lore. Because the way we're going to be wi winning this game, so if you like, don't know this already, uh, the way to win this game is to do a ritual that has 36 of the required aspect. Uh, for temptation power, that aspect is uh, forge. Uh, and also, this temptation needs to be at. We need to have six marks here. But that, that's going to be. That's that's something that's going to happen automatically as soon as we get this to be high enough. There are certain things we need to do before we get to get it high enough. But you know, that's it's 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 just something that's going to happen throughout the game, basically. Uh, so we're going to need 36 of the aspect of Forge. Uh, we're going to get. Is it 14 of that from the highest level lore? But we're not gonna really be... The way you normally get lore is by doing expeditions to places and find better books. You read those books and then, you know, you find better lore. That's how it usually goes. But we're not gonna be able to do a lot of those expeditions because uh, we are not gonna have cultists. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to combine a lot of lore because you can combine the, the lore. You can combine lores, you can change lores to different kind of lores by, you know, research. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using most of all of the lore we find from Morelands to just change them to different kinds of lores so that we can actually upgrade our forge lore. So that's why we're gonna be wanting to buy as many books as we can from Morelands. Okay, we finished our painting. Oh, we didn't even... Right, I thought we... We got... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I misremembered. I thought we were getting like a dollar from that. Well, apparently not. So we're gonna use our physique, strong physique and a health here. And we're gonna go to work. And now this is only gonna take 55 seconds. So we're actually gonna make a profit of five seconds here, basically, which is nice. Okay, so we found the six letters on necessity. Okay, so this we can tell from the color that this is gonna give us forge lore, which is good because we want that forge lore. Hmm. Now I also started thinking about the fact that if we get ourselves, if we turn from temptation to desire, I think it's called, occasionally we're gonna, the desire is gonna go into this verb, or it, this is gonna create a verb that will pick up our desire. I think it's called desire after it turns from temptation. And then if it's there, it's gonna steal one of our funds just to increase our marks. We have one mark here. I think, yeah, this is the mark of shaping. Yeah, we're gonna need six marks, so... But no, I think that doesn't happen before we actually go through the stack door. Yeah, I think, okay, so we might not, okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get the, this lore, we'll turn this temptation into desire, and we're gonna be fine. So yeah, let's go back to Morelands, we still have more than five funds. Okay, we read this thing, so now we are a Greek scholar, that's nice. We might be needing that at some point, or we might not, I'm not quite sure. Kozli's tone is urgent, as if he suspected he might have little time left. Okay, what do we got from Morelands? Locksmith dreams, portions and proportions. Okay, this is also good, because with this, we can actually dream our way into the woods. And that is something that we want to do quite quickly. So... Okay, now we are at five funds, so I do not feel good about going to Morelands. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're just gonna... Uh, we're gonna explore this occult scrap, because there are certain locations on the first level exploration that we want to go. Uh, so if we just find that from here, it would be actually super good. Now, one of the reasons I also like working uh, the physical stuff is because every time we work the physical stuff, we get a vitality. So uh, it, it makes it quite easy to increase our health, because we only need... Uh, well, we're gonna need four vitalities so that we can increase our health for the next uh, time. But uh, that's not gonna be a real problem. Okay, ooh, we got an erudition from this. Hmm, if I had known that... You know what? Yeah, okay, we got an erudition here, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna study our reason to get another erudition so that we can increase our reason as well. Okay, Congregation of St. Felix of Schuren. 
Hmm, I'm not sure if this is one of the ones that we want to go through. I shall check my notes! Okay, this is not one of the places we definitely need to go. But we're probably gonna go there at some point, because this is quite easy. Because we can do this with Edge. And one of the things is, because we're not gonna have cultists, we're gonna have to find people to help us by using health here, which is also one of the reasons why we want to increase our health uh, quite quickly, so we can keep on working and use it to explore at the same time. So this we can done, do with people who are violent, we can find edge people, or we can do it with moth people. So that's uh, quite easy to do. Uh, but right now we can't really do anything with that, so we'll just let it be there. Uh, this is a trembling in the air, yeah, we're not gonna have fascination here, so that is fine. Uh, let's use... oh. Alright, this needs to be studied. Well, we'll do that at some point. We're not gonna do that now. Now we're just gonna wait. Okay, more work done, more vitality. Now, you can maybe see that there, there is a problem that is going to come here, which is... Uh, even if we have just two health, we're still gonna have to wait five seconds at this point. So we're gonna need a third health, so that we can actually keep working all the time. And since these vitalities are gonna go away at some point, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be timing issues here. It's gonna take a while for us to actually get the timing right to get all the things we need. Like this glimmering here is would have also been nice to use to get another passion, but you know you can't have everything. Okay, erudition done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna study two of these eruditions to create ourselves another passion. No, no, a reason. Uh, that's gonna take 60 seconds. Okay, so that's good enough so that we can turn these vitalities into vitality lesson learns, which we're gonna need two of to actually increase our health for the next level. But once again, that should not really be a problem. Wait, can we do something with this? I don't remember what this does. I honestly do not remember what this does. Uh, therefore, it's not part of my plan. My plan never says that uh, examine reading reminiscences, so we're not gonna be doing that. Also, one of these super good things of why it's super easy to increase your health, every time you use your health in anything, there is a possibility, or uh, actually it's not that if you use if you use anything that has the heart aspect, it might create this cause of the heart, which just is, is, is just gonna give us another vitality. So we're gonna go back to working here on the health. No, no, god damn it. Should have used this. Mm. That's the thing. That's that's the easy mistake to make. And I think I might have done that t twice now. Maybe. No, always gonna use the uh, skill there first. Because that's the way it comes easier to do. Now the five seconds here, it's, it's not that big of a deal right now. Because like I said, we're gonna need the third health for it to actually do anything for us. Okay, so we got ourselves the skill scholarship and another reason. That's fine, it's not something we're gonna be using uh, quite, uh, like, uh, soon, but uh, having more reason is gonna be a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna combine these vitalities into a vitality lesson learned, then we're gonna combine these vitalities into a vitality lesson learned, and then we're gonna use those with our skill, and we're gonna have the uh, required things we need. So, uh, so it's gonna take 30 seconds, 60 seconds, okay, we can still work here. That's fine, we'll work, 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 always work with our arms of bronze. Also, we have the smith's secret here. Uh, let's use our temptation power and dream with the smith's secret. So we are flames dedication. I will dedicate myself to the pursuit of power. Yes, I will. Also, it seems like we have more than five funds, so let's go more and get another book. Okay, well, there's our exotic cravings. That's actually nice, because now it's gonna give us a... What is it called? Restlessness, which we can then paint away. And I think if we use restlessness to paint, we're actually gonna get paid. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, so there's our vitality lesson learned, and now we're gonna use two other vitalities. Which one of you has less time? You have less time. To get another vitality lesson learned, so in 60 seconds... Yeah, okay. Wow, this is actually going, like the timing here is actually pretty good. Because uh, we don't want to be working, because, uh, oh, it takes another 10 seconds. Okay, well, we're like two seconds off of perfect timing here, but that's fine. What do you get from Morland System? A collection of poetry. Okay, so we're going to use that to increase our uh, passion at some point. We're not going to be using it now. We're mostly saving them for uh, the very end, for the last, 
mm, we're gonna need for the last levels we're gonna need three and four like uh, lesson learned cards so you can realize that's a lot of the basic materials so yeah having those books is a super good thing okay so there's one more vitality lesson learned basically right there uh, Right, we're gonna have to be paying this, yeah, because this is gonna give us a restlessness, and in 60 seconds this restlessness would turn into a despair, and, uh, well, it might not be a problem, but it might be a problem. Despair is one of those things that will make us lose the game, so getting rid of it is a good thing. So we're gonna use our passion to paint, and we're gonna put the restlessness in here, and it's gonna go away. Okay, there is our dedication to power. I whispered the words that the smith speaks to the iron, that the murderer speaks to the victims, that the fire speaks to its fuel. Only I know what I have done, but it has shaped my path now. I have advanced a step towards a terrible ascension. A terrible? What is that word there? A glorious ascension, it should say. Terrible ascension. <laughs> no, glorious. Okay, there is our other Vitality Lesson Learned. So now, if we use our skill here, and we put two of these Vitality Lesson Learns in here, we're gonna get ourselves a third health. And... Yeah, let's just use health here also to explore. Because there are a couple of places we want to find from the city, so exploring is going to be good here in the beginning. An overlooked place. Okay, so we find found one of those things, and is it... Oh, it's the Ectisis Club. Uh, which is a place that we are never gonna be visiting. Never, ever, ever. Not in this run. There is no reason for us to ever visit the Ictisis Club on this run. Okay, so we just got a glimmering. We got rid of the... Uh, restlessness. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, I think, is... Where is oh, my passion? Okay, it's exhausted. So, yeah, we're gonna... Well, this is... There's gonna be like 20 seconds of us doing nothing, but we're gonna research this passion to get another glimmer and actually get the skill for painting, so we can actually maybe get some money from painting. Okay, but now we have the extra... Health? No, it's still here. Uh, but we're gonna need this, so we're gonna just use this without the skill. It's gonna take 60 seconds for us to work. That's fine. Okay, so there is our new health and our new skill, and since we have an extra health here, we can just go and explore the city. Uh, we get a contentment from... I think it must have actually been this exact same thing. It was the wrong kind of attention, I believe, what was going on last time. But we don't really have to care about what's coming from here right now, because it's not really gonna affect us that much. Okay, uh, we have a moth person here. So... we could actually get them and then go to... Congregation of St. Felix of Schuren, but I don't think that's something we're going to do right now. What we're going to do instead is actually study this uh, locksmith's dream. In this volume, Galmia records fewer dreams and exp explicates more on her own elaborate theories. We see this again and again. What is below can escape what is above. Right, there's our one fund again, and then we can use our skill here, which is now higher than it was before, and you can see it only takes us 50 seconds to do this work now. Yay! Oh crap, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get... Hmm... I wonder if we're gonna have enough time. There might just be enough time, because this is 7 seconds off 2 minutes, or a full minute, and this is 2 seconds off two full minutes. So we do this, immediately put the passion in there, we might just have enough time to get both of the glimmerings here. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of vitality on the board, uh, we're not gonna be caring about that that much at this point, because basically the level of skill we have at this moment is the level of skill we need it to be, basically for the entire game. We're gonna do it at some point to increase it at the full level, but uh, it's, it's not important. Okay, so there is the exotic cravings. So, is it going to take our dedication to power? Because if it does, we might actually be in a bit of trouble. Okay, we didn't get the hireling, that is fine. Uh, we did get some funds from here, yes, get extra of this. Uh, okay, why are all of my healths fatigued? Ha! Seriously? I was thinking that with three, we would never really be in this situation where all of our healths are fatigued at the same time, but apparently I was wrong. Well, hmm. Well, we're gonna have to wait a little while before we work again, but first of all, we read this book. 
The finest artisans all dream of the white door in the end. I'm no artisan, only a scholar. I think there's a secret that all these artisans know, but I think that secret is only half the story. Okay, so that gives us a locksmith's secret. Uh, that was important because of the fact that when we dream with passion, guess we're gonna do now, and we put the locksmith's dream in here, or the locksmith's secret, we will find our way into the woods. Locksmiths often have the dream after the soul of the food is wounded, especially if it has been snake bitten. I could try that. So you're gonna have your leg bitten by a snake, and I... Did I mess up here? Did I just have that other glimmering here for like a second or two and then just mess it up? I, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Well, it's not that big of a deal. It just takes us like... It's some two minutes wasted of our time, basically. That's, that's all it really is. Okay, well, let's then study this uh, potential collaborator knows. I have a name, a description, a few tantalizing details, but there are a thousand thousand faces in this city. A thousand thousand faces in this city. A thousand thousand is a million. So that's a big city. Well, I mean, if it's London, it's, I, I think it has more people than that. But we're in like 1920s or something like that. Okay. I have dreamed of the forge, and I long for the height of her flames. Did you take the money? I forgot to check it. It is almost time to perform the work and begin the changes, but I must have enough forge aspect. Exploration find, might find more. Okay, right, so it's, it didn't take the money right now, but it'll always create us a restlessness, but that's fine. We can always get rid of the restlessness by painting, except we can't do it right now. Oh, crap. Oh, and we're going to be getting sick as well. That's going to take one of our healths. Why am I not working? There is a unfatigued health. Okay, and yeah, we do not have enough money to go to Moreland, so yeah, we're just gonna let time pass. And now, I have an address! I'll dispatch a letter and propose a meeting. Talk is unlocked. And we get ourselves some mystique. We don't really care about that at this point, but the unlocking talk is quite important because this is gonna be the verb that is gonna let us get the most money, actually. Okay, do we have anything we could really do? We could get more reason to get our erudition higher, but that's not really something we need to do right now. Hmm. Now, one thing we could do here is we could turn this uh, with this into higher level forge law. Uh, but to do that, we are gonna require erudition. We have an erudition on the board, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so I see no reason why we wouldn't do this right now. So let's just do this. We're gonna be needing to upgrade our forge law throughout the campaign, so we're just doing it at any point when we can do it is gonna be a good thing. Oh, and there goes the sickness. Well, that is unfortunate. But we have a lot of vitality on the board, so the sickness doesn't really matter. Okay. More money, more vitality. Uh... We, st we have the restlessness. Oh, the passion is still locked in here. Uh, but if we actually wait for two more seconds... Okay, there's a hang <laughs> hanger on. <laughs> uh, the reply to your letter is cautious, if cautious. They are intrigued by how you found their name. Intrigued enough to meet you. So we're not ever actually going to meet this person. Like, we're never going to talk to them. We're never going to talk to anyone that is an actual cultist. Why I was laughing here is because it gives us a hanger on. Usually it gives us a named cultist, so that, that like, there's actual, like, a point. But no, this is just a hanger on. This is, like, <laughs> oh, the worst possible thing we could find. So, we also stopped dreaming. I limp along the road, and so it is that I see the serpent in the ditch. I followed across the waste places and into the root maze. Is it hair that brushes my face, or hanging moss? I bend low to stay close to the earth like my guide. I will not forget the way to this place. So we got our way to the wood. Now this is one of the reasons why we're gonna want ourselves a second passion, so that we can actually dream our way into the wood. Also, right, the passion is exhausted, so we can't pay this restlessness. That is unfortunate. Well, uh, we're gonna have to work on here then again would have really preferred to paint that restlessness away because uh, at some point we are going to have like there's it's just gonna happen we're gonna have the thing that picks up dread and it's gonna cause us issues okay you want the erudition get the erudition that's so that solves that 
Uh, yeah, we don't have the passion to dream, so let's not dream because it's gonna give us bad things if we dream about that. Also, we don't really want to dream because we have an affliction here and we want to dream that away with this vitality. And uh, there's our work done again. Do we have... we do not have more... Uh, let's put this like there. We do not have more health, so we're gonna have to wait a bit for our work to begin again. Uh, well, let's uh, wait a bit for our to, so that we can work again, like so. And then I think we are going to put a cut in here and continue with this in the next part. Now, since this is a new series, I would really appreciate if you could click the like button down there somewhere. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I will never ask again during this series. This I will only ask in first episode. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm Golkarp, and this has been Cultist Simulator No Cult Challenge. Goodbye, bro. Thanks for watching. See you next time.